Jeffrey Slotnick, founder and president of Cetracon, a security risk management company, joining us from Tacoma, Washington this morning. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you today? I'm good. Good to see your smile. Now, obviously, <laughs> New York is saying crime is down, but we're seeing some cities in America with crime that's astronomically higher, especially for a couple of reasons. But I know that crime rises in the summer. Would you say, based on the data you've seen, that this year is much worse? Uh, I think it's getting worse as we go. I, I think, you know, the uh, uh, with the lack of law enforcement support, uh, in some cases, the the exodus from uh, law enforcement type work have emboldened criminals to act more violently. In terms of the past couple of strange years that we've all seen across this country, it would appear that there's a, a difference in some crime patterns. How are criminals acting differently than maybe prior to 2019? Well, they're they're more emboldened, uh, and also you've got to you know understand that criminal work is an enterprise. So you know for a year or two years they were not active, and now we're seeing things like you're showing there with organized retail crime on, on a swing where it's not just one person uh, involved; it's it's three to ten people that are involved in uh, looting a store or taking a, a, a large quantity of merchandise. Uh, using techniques to distract salespeople and overwhelm uh, overwhelm people in the store. Yeah, and I've seen you know if you if you ever spend any time on Instagram or Facebook, you see these videos of smash and grab robberies. You see people. The most recent one I saw is a man unsuccessfully using a brick to break through a jewelry counter. Uh, city leaders in some places, like Philadelphia, they're pointing to drugs as a contributing factor to the boldness, the emboldened nature of some of these criminals. Some lawmakers are saying they're more desperate because of inflation. But clearly, there are a lot of historic elements involved right now uh, that are leading to this. Is this the perfect storm? I, I, I believe we are, and we're right in the middle of it. I mean, you look at the uh, uh, fentanyl problem currently in the United States, uh, you know, everybody and, and other uh, drugs of choice that cause people to have to finance their activities. Uh, you know, you can see a complete criminal cycle. People steal things, they sell them, they turn around, they buy their, their drugs, uh, fentanyl, whatever, and then turn around and re-enter the cycle. You know, it's, uh, it, it is, uh, uh, as you say, a, a perfect storm. We're seeing more violent crime, in my, you know, in, in some cities, much higher crime and the level of violence and is, in my opinion, do a lot be, to the fact that there is no consequence. Mm -hmm. uh, some prosecutors are even hesitant to prosecute people. And that's that's certainly something that's been criticized by residents in cities even like San Francisco and Los Angeles. But in the security business, what is being done right now that might have been maybe considered a little bit too much out of the box or different compared to previous years? Are business owners hiring companies with different strategy for security now based on what we're seeing happen? Yes, and understand that security is not just uh, a human being in a uniform. Uh, security is many different things. We have three metrics we measure, detection, delay, and response. There are things like turnstiles, shopping by appointment, uh, you know, limiting the amount of people in your store, uh, utilizing different types of physical security devices. There are ways that you can minimize organized retail crime by in by utilizing and installing uh, great physical security measures. Mm -hmm. This is something that's been going on in Europe for some time. Uh, we're just starting to see it trending here in the United States. As a matter of fact, we have a large industry conference coming up uh, in Atlanta in September, and we'll be speaking just on this specific topic. All right, Jeffrey Slotnick, we really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You're founder and president of Cetracon, which is a security risk management company. Uh, thank you again. And, and hopefully these businesses, some of which have had to close down because they're in such high crime areas, are getting the answers they need to stay in business. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.